All right, what's up everyone? Art here. I just wanted to shoot a quick two to three minute video showing you exactly how to use our deal evaluation calculator. It's pretty detailed and it could be quite overwhelming when you first open it, but I can assure you that by learning to use this, you're going to save yourself a ton of money and a ton of time. So strap in. We're going to be in here for about two to three minutes. And, uh, you know, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys for even being here. Thank you for downloading the calculator. Thank you for trusting our strategies in your business. I hope that we're able to help. And I just wanted to provide this to you as a resource so that you're not like, right, I got this deal calculator. Now what? Um, which is kind of how I felt after we had it developed for. So um, if you look here at the top, it tells you uh, in, enter the data into the white cells only. So the yellow cells are not editable. I mean, you can, but you're going to mess up your formulas. You guys can see up here if you're, excuse me, following my mouse, like there's a whole formula up here. We don't want to mess with that. We just want to mess with the white, which is where we're actually going to be entering data, which means that we're going to have a responsibility to collect this data. OK, this isn't just like a bippity boppity boo. We get the right evaluation. Um, that we're going to have to collect this data, which is basically our job as real estate investors. So I want you guys to pay close attention to that. This is a, uh, a real property that I'm actually in the process of buying and underwriting. And um, let's get right to it. So right here, the ARV, this stands for after repair value for my newbies. Uh, it's literally the value of your subject property after you fix it up. Well, how do you get that? You're going to need what's called a CMA report, comps, right? Comparables. Um, and this is essentially a, a realtor or someone who has access to the MLS or a full blown appraisal. If you want to pay in underwriting, but I don't recommend you do um, someone who can give you a CMA report, a comparable market analysis and tell you, hey, these are three or more properties that are just like yours, but fixed up within a mile radius that sold not on the market, but sold in the last year. So quick mini lesson there. That's how we get this number, the ARV. Right here is the rehab budget. You get this number by walking through the property or looking at photos and determining how much it costs, right, to fix it up. This is very important because if I fluctuate this number to let's just say it costs $100,000, well, obviously my profit, right, parentheses means negative. If you follow my mouse down here, this is where the profit is $30,000, right? Negative $30,000. But if I change this to let's say $25,000 in rehab, well, not 250, 25. And boom, this is a almost a 50K profit uh, deal, okay? Hold time, this is huge. And this is actually why I got this calculated because the longer you hold a property, the more it's gonna cost you in taxes, interest, uh, mortgage payments, insurance, et cetera. So, you know, if I were to change this to a 12 month hold, you can see those profits go down more than half and that's just awful, right? So this property is gonna take us between fixing it and selling it in three months. So we're at 46,000. This is the commission that you're going to pay. You might pay your realtor 6%. I don't know. We usually don't go over five. Now here's your lending term. This is what you're going to have to actually get from your hard money lender. If you're using financing, if you're not, then like, whatever, put everything at, at zero. And, you know, well, it kind of messes up the numbers. Let's see. There we go. Put it at zero and it shows you what the true profits are because you're not paying any interest on anything. But for us, we let the lenders go ahead and give us 90% of the acquisition price and 100% of the construction. Okay, we, get, we pay two points of origination. This right here moves over here. It tells you exactly how much you're paying in fees, right? Two points, that's how much I'm paying in my 2%, right? Uh, lender underwriting fees, these are all the fees. These are my closing costs, right? Uh oh, something's off here. Oh, 100%. Oop. There we go. Sheesh. Okay. So anyway, uh, <laughs> 6,800 is what the lender is going to be making. These are all my fees for closing. And then it calculates the financing results over here. And then these are going to be my key metrics. Okay. What's my all in? How much actual cash am I going to need? Okay. Um, and then what's my profits? All right. Now, if you are looking to wholesale, I love this little section over here because it tells you straight up. Well, listen, if you want to wholesale this thing, then you probably need to get it, get it for a little cheaper, right? Our max offer is going to be 345,000. So, you know, if you want to make 10 K, if you only want to make 5 K, then your max offer is going to be 354,000. So we're in pretty good shape here on this deal. Um, but you can fluctuate that number as well. Some people like to buy a 25% profit margin. Some people like to buy a 20, 20, right? 80%. And that's how these numbers are calculated. 